And I want to talk a little bit about this girl. Uh, her name is Suprita uh, in Hassan district in central Karnataka. Um, she's a very bright girl. She's one of the brightest in the whole taluk. And, and, in, and it's, a, it's a very orthodox society. So she's one of the ones who went to 10th standard and doing that. On the way to her 10th standard board exams, uh, she was going from her house to the school in a cycle. And an elephant came and killed her off. Every year in India, 400 to 500 people die because of elephants. And when I keep traveling across this landscape, people just tell me, and I'm talking about 150 million people here, they work all day and they have to stay up all night in a machan to shoo away elephants that come into their farms. They're just saying, we just want to get some good night's sleep. 150 million people in India. these things customized with basic hacks can solve some real world problems. Uh, instead what we did was we built a piezo panel which is triggered by the weight of an elephant's foot and uh, rings an alarm which can be heard by humans but not by elephants. We went and tested this out on uh, the elephant Rupa at the Ahmedabad Zoo. We got positive results and we're developing this model further. Just to give you an example about elephant problems and, and the project that we're trying to do here. If we have a prototype and, and if, if it's low cost and if you can be able to deploy it large scale, we are talking about saving lives of six to 8,000 elephants and probably this thing that will help about 100 million people in India. So the scale of it is humongous, but it can be a simple technological solution which is not there in the market. 